Well, it's been an especially tough past few days for the Turkish lira. The currency remains near an all-time low against the dollar. The country recently cut interest rates at the insistence of President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, despite the warnings of economists. The consequences are borne by normal Turks, and many are now angry. Burning symbolic dollars. These Turkish shopkeepers are in despair. We can't sleep because we're so worried about what will happen tomorrow. Unpaid rents are piling up, people aren't buying our goods and nobody shares our burden. The country's currency is in free fall. On Tuesday, the lira slumped 15 percent against the US dollar. This year, it has already lost nearly 40 percent of its value. The opposition puts the blame on President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. These people know what you, President Erdogan, are now. Let me tell you this, from this point on, you're a fundamental national security problem for the Republic of Turkey. The Turkish president has pressured the central bank to slash interest rates in a move he says will boost exports, investment and jobs. But many fear that this will further fuel inflation, which is already running at around 20 percent. As President Erdogan vows victory in an economic war, these people in Istanbul are calling for his government to resign. DW reporter Bülent Mumay joins me now from Istanbul. Bülent, good to have you on the show. The lira has been struggling for a while, not just in the past few days. How serious is this current moment right now? Well, it's much more serious nowadays because of the sharp depreciation of the lira. The purchasing power of the people is really going down. And as we have a foreign dependent economy, everything is getting much more expensive every day. You can't find the same price the next day if you visit the supermarket. Therefore, people want to make stock at home, trying to buy things when they are cheap enough. And uh, because they know that the next day they won't be able to find them as cheap as they find it. Uh, if you go to a supermarket in Istanbul, you can see some warnings on the shelves and that the supermarket warns you and tells you that you can just only buy one item of each because they don't want you to buy much more as the cheap price. Besides the consumers, of course, the companies also have a huge problem. They know that they won't be able to access to the same product with the same price. Now mm -hmm. they're trying not to sell anything. Like if you go in Istanbul to a computer shop and want to buy a computer, they always tell you that we don't have it in our stocks. Mm. I think it's the first time that any Apple shops in, in, any, in, in any cities in the world, they stop selling their goods. If you go to an Apple shop, if you want to buy an iPhone, they don't sell you because right. they know that it's much more expensive, so they don't give their stocks. Pilon, why is it that Erdogan then insists on cutting rates, interest rates, when it obviously makes things worse? Well, it makes things worse because it's a very weird uh, thing that he has his own financial theories. I mean, he, he, as you know, you might have heard before, he identifies himself as an economist. He doesn't have a degree about it anyway. Contrary to the traditional financial theories, he claims that the interest is the reason and inflation is the result. And he thinks that if the interests are being cut, he thinks the inflation will also decrease. But it doesn't go this way. That's uh, his only aim is to create an economic growth, but mm. by his own financial uh, theory. But it doesn't work this way. Uh, well, when the rate, when the interest rate is less than the inflation, everyone tries to keep their savings in foreign currencies because the Turkish lira is melting down every day. So when no one sees their future, no one makes new investment, even with cheap loans. Pilat, real quick, do Turks hold him responsible? Briefly, if you can. Yes, they do. They do. He's losing votes. Just only one figure I will share, share with you. His, uh, the regular time for elections is 2023. Nowadays, his approval rate is 38 percent. It used to be 71 in 10 years. He's in his mm. worst situation nowadays. All right. DW reporter Bülent Mumay from Istanbul. Thank you so much. Thank you.